get started. So just uh, uh, let's slide on Slack and get people to join in. We are just 11 and um, okay, let's give ourselves, let's say a minute to try and get others on board, then we'll get started, okay? I think that is clear. All right, guys, um, if you're able to hear me, you can just type something on the chat box. Good morning to you all. If you can hear me okay, please type something in the chat box. Okay, good morning, Salam. Good morning, Nerdos. Good morning, Danaid. Good morning, Dabmawi. Morning, Martin Luther. And where is Daisy? Daisy, are you with us? Morning, Michael. Morning, Daisy. Oh, yes. I hope you guys are excited for this morning. It's um, it's going to be one of an interesting one, as usual, as all the mornings. And I hope uh, and I hope we are going to um, enjoy the stand up this morning again today on the 8th of July. I will be your um, your host or your lead for this session. I hope you're not tired of seeing my face every day and now um we will we'll dive straight into into it i don't know if there are any announcements from the 10 academy team well seems at the moment i'm the only 10 academy team and yes i do have an announcement to make if um if not one and a half announcements to make yes so uh Yesterday, I sent you guys um, um, an announcement regarding photos. So it would be really nice to get some shots of you. You know, we are working remotely and the challenges that comes with working remotely is that we don't uh, get all the images that we might need as opposed to like when you're working physical, uh, you know, it's easy to capture such photos. So we need we really need your help. Uh, in getting um, some images or some uh, Im very nice quality images uh, when you are working, doing something on your laptop. It can be at home, it can be in the office. There, there are a few of you I know with like multiple, multiple uh, uh, gadgets that happen to work at the same time. I don't know how that works, but uh, any of the images when you're working, it can be as simple as just you with your laptop and you're getting some things done um or it can be you with all your fancy it gadgets on your desk so i hope um we'll get uh, uh some of these and you can send them straight to teen i've tagged her in the announcement so i hope I, I really much hope that we'll get some photos of you it's actually even for the website and it's good to have some of you guys, you know, it would be nice to be seeing yourself on the website, you know, as um, soon to graduate um, trainees. Okay, that was my uh, one announcement. The half announcement is that today, um, our, our, um, our hot seat, uh, we, are, we are going to, we are going to host Yebobo. I hope he didn't He's not here yet, but I hope he'll be able to join us. I hope he's not like shying away from the from the seat as people threaten, but it's going to be a little bit hot. But uh, guys, let's prepare 
to make it work and don't hold back because he still has the right to say pass. So any questions you're really curious about, get them there. All right. I don't know if there's anything else from the team and I'm assuming not, or I'm assuming we'll get uh, more announcements as we co conclude. So we would, we would like to jump straight into getting some updates of uh, what was going on yesterday from the teams. And again, uh, with the drill, let's try to get people who didn't talk yesterday. I know there are some uh, who represented their teams. So a few who didn't uh, manage to speak yesterday can represent their team, tell us updates, what has been going on in your team, any challenges within the team and all that. So we can start straight with group one. So anybody from group one who wants, who didn't speak yesterday and would like to give us some updates on um, what's going on with their group. Okay, Abel, I see your hand is yeah, up. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. Hello, good morning. Okay, to give you an update. So give us some okay. of the updates. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were working on uh, the S3 bucket connection uh, yesterday. And uh, mm. uh, after connecting it to the Kafka cluster, we were facing some blockers. But we manage to uh, we we as a group are working on it, and uh, so far so good. Uh, we are uh, we will continue working on the remaining tasks today, and I think we are on track for the tomorrow submission. What were the blockers you said? The S3 bucket connection is a couple. Oh, okay. I uh, will uh, we'll pretend as if I understand what that is, but uh, I and what are you doing to address it again? So we were facing it, uh, we were facing some errors yesterday when we tried to mm. connect uh, the data with uh, when we lost the data to the S3 bucket, but uh, awesome. we, we are working on it. Okay, anyone else? Thank you, thank you very much, Abel. Anyone else from group one who wants to share anything that uh, Abel has not? Maybe let's hear from Samrawit. Samrawit, anything? Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Yeah. Okay, uh, like um, Abel said, there was a broker for connecting S3 packet. But I think Abel has managed that. As for my side, me and Matilda are working on the front end. Uh, still working on it. Uh, we haven't finished yet, but we are working on the front end. Okay. And uh, and how are the team dynamics? How was the how many team meetings did you have yesterday, and how was it? Uh, we have one meeting yesterday in the evening. Uh, it was good. We have shared Everybody. so many things between us. Mm. Everyone yeah. attended? Uh, yeah, I think except uh, Matilda. Okay. She has a problem with the connection, I think. She hasn't mm. managed to, uh, to get to the meeting. All right, that's nice to know. And is Ken on the call? I see Ken is not on the call. Uh, anyone, Samuel, Samuel from Group 1. Maybe you can update us on what um, you guys do when uh, a team member has uh, has missed. Maybe yesterday, Matilda wasn't able to join in the meeting. What do you guys do uh, to ensure that she's up to speed with what you guys discussed yesterday? Okay. Hello, Mary. Good morning to everyone. Um, we had a meeting last uh, evening and uh, we shared all our resources and what we have done. And if someone misses out on the meeting, especially Ramat, the team leader, will type everything we have uh, said on the meeting and will post it. So anyone who missed out can get the summary from that. And so far, so good. Awesome, awesome. Thank you guys from group one. And I'm really liking to hear um, that you guys are proceeding well. Okay, let's uh, probably hear from um, the group leader as well. 
to kind of wrap up uh, group leader with regards to um, the progress in terms of um, are, are you guys confident you're going to, to submit on time? The, the, the deadline is coming up soon, so what's the plan? Rehmet, are you there? Oh, I guess she dropped off. All right, let's get to group two now. Anybody from group two who didn't speak yesterday? Anyone from group two who didn't speak? Salam, I can see your hand is up. Okay, feel free to update us on what's going on within your team. Okay, well, uh, we were working uh, on the remaining of the tasks until uh, uh, so that we could finish. Uh, uh, some we had some blockers uh, on, on integrating and we are trying to figure that out in the personally the blocker i had yesterday was uh, there was a loud a light outage all day and uh, i wasn't able to do much uh, yesterday and I, I tried to do something uh, last night and uh, i was also trying to understand what the s3 uh, bucket uh, is supposed to be on our keys and I'm getting some kinds of info like it's uh, some kind of folder I don't know uh, if anyone could clear that to me I don't understand what that means and uh, beside that well I think we are doing well uh, I hope uh, we progress and uh, submit our tasks sorry i missed that what do you want clarification on again uh, the s3 bucket part on how the other groups handle it uh, what does uh, s3 bucket creation meant okay anyone within the the community any trainee who uh, who's able to um, assist salam or respond to salam's query or maybe tutor you can just raise your hand if you you're able to kind of respond to what Salam the challenge Salam is facing right now. Desmond, are you able to help? Uh, maybe just give me a minute uh, or so, so I'll be able to help. Okay, I can see Martin has uh, his hand yeah, up. I think. Uh, <clears throat> okay if uh this i think uh it, it's there's a way that it sort of appears complicated but uh in reality it isn't because uh when i was trying to do my research on the s3 bucket i was realizing that you need i don't know the there's that uh, access key id you need the blah 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 such types of things but then uh when i was looking at it i was realizing that that is when you're creating the like when you're creating the the s3 think of it like an entire uh platform think of it like an entire platform so already it has been created for us yabibel yabibel had already created for us what we need to do is just go to the week nine folder uh, and then we create our own folder. You can call your folder whichever name that you want to create. So once you're inside the week nine folder, you create your own folder. And then uh, you now do transformations where you read uh, into that particular folder from the from the Apache Spark. So from the Apache Spark, you, you try to do that to the particular folder. You did, yeah. Um, do you have anything to add on to that? Actually, it's a question for Martin. Martin, maybe have you been able to create the folder that you are talking about or access this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it yeah doesn't it's just require uh, a permission. No, it doesn't require permission. Or can what I share my is, screen? Maybe, yeah. That uh, yeah, great. feel free to do it. Okay. Did you access it using uh, Python libraries or just try to list the files that are in there using? the command line. Uh, so <clears throat> let me just. Uh... Sorry. 
So uh, if we go to the MNT, because the mounted folders, that means it can be it's it can be shared by anybody. That's why you will mount it. It's just like a flash drive. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so CD nine. Sorry. Yeah, I've seen also there are also other groups which have created, like ours is this one for chocolate barriette. Yeah. So I think it's just creating, like, for example, uh, if you had to create maybe like, uh, you can, if you had to create like that, if you come here, you'll see there is that, uh, that, so you can just, and uh, just accessing it, it's just the the way that I saw it was being accessed uh, yesterday, where you read it uh, through the S3, uh, that, 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 that particular, that particular, whatever. All right. Thank you, Martin. Salam, okay. are you are you Sorry. happy with that? Does that help? Yeah, 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 it does. Thank you. Did you? You had a, qu a follow-up uh, yes. question? Yes, Sorry, maybe. Uh, yes. Are we just going to move the files using the normal file system in Linux, or can we use some kind of API? or yes some other third party tools to move the files once we consume it from kafka so um, <laughs> so maybe i can add i mean i i probably just jumped in in the middle so i may not have the context but i'm assuming that you're discussing about how to move files like from kafka once you process them into an s3 folder is that is that the case yes so it's basically, so how are you processing it in the first place? So I assume you are using Airflow to schedule things, or are you doing directly streaming from Kafka to Spark? Uh, no, on, on, on a scheduled basis, we are going to consume the data from Kafka exactly. to Spark and finally yeah. load it to S3. Exactly. So as probably yesterday, Rahel was showing, that you could definitely directly just uh, put files, you know, using just Python, right? So it's like if you are, if you are, once you process from the Spark inside, there is you can write it. You know, like okay. you know, it's a data frame. You can write if it is audio. You know, you write it's basically a file as audio. Um, and then there are, I think, what you did exactly in in week four and five. You know that you had uh, Libroza used, so you could basically use to read and write uh, also audio and text, and then basically do whatever you do there. Like so, S3 is just you know another basically a, a network file, you know, network file system, right? So in this case, it's mounted for you, so you can even use it. But even if it was not mounted, it's basically writing on a remote file system. Basically means instead of giving um, a pass in this case the pass would be a URL. so and you can use boto so boto is the aws uh, library python library that you can write into s3 very easily very simply and it's just boto s3 client and then from that client you basically can read and write so there isn't much of course you can also write it in locally and then you can orchestrate another thing called, you know, a bash script to write, to read and write just the way that Martin was showing, like just uh, as if you do it in the terminal. But I would say that's too much state. You should just be able to write it directly. Uh, uh, can I ask a question here? There, yeah. Yes, Bine. yeah, go on. Uh, uh, when you say we'll be using a URL, will, will the URL be uh, prefixed with uh, s3.com? Exactly. Uh, slash slash. Slash uh, slash. 10, 10, like as was I was just pointing, so it would be 10 uh, AC dash batch five, dash batch five. That's the MNT MN folder oh, okay. that was uh, mounted. And then inside there, there is, I created one. I think uh, Edidia asked a question in Slack and I, you know, I, I told him where to store. So there is one that I created week nine. 
and then everyone can then inside that create a directory. But you know, you have to know S3 doesn't care. It's not a Linux system. It doesn't know what a directory is. It, it, it basically for it, it's just a pass. It's like slash is a pass. It's it's a way of like for us, it's a directory. S3 in general, not only S3, but every cloud system doesn't. It's not uh, everything is basically in that bucket. So only bucket makes sense. And then after bucket, and bucket is globally unique. Once there is bucket, that basically because S3 is you know a URL and a bucket is basically just the URL kind of slash. So that must be unique. And after that, it's it's just whatever you want. So that means you can add many. They are called. That's why it's called um, you know keys. You know they are they are keys. Everything after bucket is key. So and for structural purposes, you should basically of course slash slash it. That's why they're like that. But from S3, when it understands it, it's really just single file with that name. And for authentication, will we be using uh, the password in the, the key? Uh, yeah, you, you, will, you will not, you cannot authenticate. I mean, at the moment, because I didn't give you access, you can't authenticate outside the system. But inside, while you are working inside the machine that we provided, that is already taken care of. OK. Because it's the, it uses the default, it's it's called in, in cloud computing, you, you assign things, permissions based on roles. It's not just based on passwords or something, but the machine itself that you are working on has a role that means has a permission in that role to be able to read and write and to be able only read and write in that folder that I specified. So in that case, you don't need it. But of course, you're right. In the, if you were to run it or to write to SS3 from outside that machine, you need authentication. That is, you don't have. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm assuming now everything is clear. Salam, Biniam, and Martin, everything is cleared. Okay, so um, we'll jump straight into um, uh, group three to get some updates from group three. And again, anybody who didn't speak yesterday from group three, um, that's uh, the person who would like to give us some updates on what's going on. How the meeting went or meetings went yesterday anybody from group three okay yeah Beniam. go ahead okay okay good morning mary and everyone morning uh so uh, to give you a quick update the meetings are actually going well. Uh, everyone is attending uh, every meeting and everyone is putting in a lot of effort. So uh, we are progressing uh, very well. I think we'll, make, we'll be able to make uh, tomorrow's submission. Uh, also, I'm not sure about the tech non-technical part. Uh, apart from that, I think it was a great team and uh, I'm glad to have been working with, with them. And I hope to keep uh, on working with them in the future as well. So, yeah. Okay. And what's the challenge the non technical part that you're not sure that, of? Yeah, the non technical part, uh, having uh, not enough time to handle both uh, technical and non technical part, that's actually the difficulty we're currently having, uh, considering the fact that uh, there, there was a frequent uh, uh, outage in power and so on. We have been able to uh, invest all our. Uh, efforts in the complete uh, on a schedule, but uh, that, that's a uh, block that we're currently having. And, and, and what do you do? You know, you're working in a team, and uh, and I'm sure teams are from different places. So, what what do you guys do when you're having such a, a challenge of uh, power outage, and you need to get things done? What what, what are your plans? How we'll try to about? reallocate uh, uh, tasks to some somebody who's currently available at that time, but usually we'll be occupied with our own tasks. So that task will be will remain untouched until that person gets the chance to uh, continue working on it. So uh, currently we don't have any uh, special uh, way of handling these situations. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Titus, are you Titus is in group three? Anything to add on to what Biniama said? 
Yeah, hello. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yeah, perfectly. Okay, yeah, I think Abinim has said almost uh, everything basically because um, uh, as we said in our meetings, uh, every, 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 everyone's uh, input, like everybody is working towards achieving what uh, we are required to do. And uh, yeah, um, concerning the, the question of handling the issue of maybe when there's poutage or something, um, during a, because uh, at least we have at least two meetings on, a, on each day. So like um, the first thing we do uh, when we start our meeting is basically just uh, catching, like uh, having a summary of what everyone has managed to do. And um, basically, uh, what, basically yeah, that, that just, just uh, ma making sure that everybody is uh, on, the, on the same page. And uh, when somebody has managed to uh, complete his or her task, uh they can jump in or just if they have a knowledge and uh, like they're ready to like help the person that's not like available and having issues like they jump right into in and right in and uh, just help out with the situation so basically the teamwork is is awesome i'd say that and uh yeah um uh, i just I, I love the, the the cooperation uh in the group so yeah so far so good yeah that, that's that's really good to hear, uh, especially when you're facing blockers that are with the, with uh, outside your control. You need to find a way within or a strength within the uh, your team that can help you work um, get the work done. And hopefully, um, you can also get the non-technical bits uh, uh, also submitted on time. I, I think it is all a matter of okay, understanding what challenges you're facing and now re-strategizing to, to Binium's point, now reallocation of how do we get things done and start now start working backwards. We need to get this done by this time. So how can we get it done with the challenges we are facing? So anyway, thank you so much, uh, group three for the updates. And now we'll dive straight to group four. Anybody who didn't speak yesterday is uh, the person we would like to hear from. How is the group going? What are the blockers you guys are facing? Uh, how were the meetings yesterday? Anybody from group four? Okay, I'm still waiting for a hand up. So a, um, we have, we have Nerdos. Okay, Nerdos, I can see your hand up. Do you wanna mute and just give us some updates from your team? Uh, hi, good morning, Mary. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Um, yeah, so far, so uh, most of us are doing our own tasks. Uh, we will be working on connecting them today. It's the, I think I think it's the biggest challenge is to connect what we have done. And I, I would say everyone is almost done with their own parts. So the the biggest challenge would be to connect the. What, what, we well, what is it a challenge to connect what you guys have done? So, like they said, connecting the bucket with a with the spark mm -hmm. and everything. So that would be that was the I assume would be a challenge, but I think it we can do it. So, uh, blockers we have I don't think we have any blockers apart, of course, for meeting times. But yeah, that's the update. Sorry, I, you were breaking. It's either internet on my end or your end. What was the blocker again? Uh, the blockers are the meeting times. Okay. You still where it's convenient for everyone. That's the blocker. How many meetings did you have yesterday? Uh, yesterday we had one in the evening, and we had one before this stand up. So two, I, I would say, yeah. after yesterday stand up. Okay, and how many are able to attend all, all the meetings? Uh, it's easier to, to say who, how many didn't attend. So I would say okay, only yeah. one how many did? yeah, only one percent or two percent have been missing the meetings. So is this one person missing both meetings, or maybe one person in the first meeting? No, no, no one person first meeting and one person second meeting. Yeah okay okay and 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 how do you get from my understanding is that you're working um you're working on different tasks 
and yes. looking to consolidate these tasks. How, how do you go about with one person meeting and yet you need to get updates from that one person because they're doing a different task? So what, they usually, what we usually do is we update each other on the groups. Even if okay. we miss the meetings, we, we try to stay in touch in the groups whenever anyone's uh, able to give update, they give update in their groups. All right, thank you so much. Now, does anyone else from group two has anything to add on to that that didn't speak yesterday? Test five, I see your hand up. Okay, hello everyone. Hello, Mary, can you hear me? Hello, I can hear today you're not working, so you're not punting, so good to hear. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, I think the team is progressing well. Everyone is uh, doing their tasks. Uh, we have questions. I, have, I personally have questions for Apple, but I, I will ask him later. So, uh, let, um, so we had uh, meetings in the morning and evening. Uh, so, uh, yeah, most of the team uh, gathers on that meeting, and we have also planned on having a meeting later, so that uh, it will be a long meeting, uh, which we have to everyone have to make because. Um, it is like uh, uh, we are going to connect everything that we have done uh, separately into one. So that will be an important meeting later today. So yeah, uh, that's uh, what I'm waiting for. And uh, for Yapoval, so uh, I, I was uh, doing the validation part for the, I was doing the validation part. So uh, uh, the way we can do it is one using a uh, previous model that we have built for the uh, week four and using using that model so we can get the word error rate uh, which will be generated from the user's audio input right uh, so one one way we can do it uh, is that but uh, up to now, my model was not uh, very good at uh, predicting, which with uh, word error rate uh, was really bad. So the second val validation uh, way is uh, uh, reversing the entire thing and creating another topic that can uh, send an, uh, an audio input and uh, let, uh, an let another user guess uh, the, best trans the best transcription, right? So. Uh, what, what my question is, uh, I think the challenge requires an ML flow. So if you if you if you are not using the model, there will be no ML flow uh, thing, right? So uh, what do you think about this? So if you use the second option, that is, will that be enough or will that be good? I mean, I think it's really a good question, right? It's there isn't one single answer, but both are valid, and there is even another one that you would be doing on, even if it's relative error, your model is, um, let's say, bad, but if it is bad the same way, it's also, if it's consistent, that's another way. Let's say you show one text for one person, you show it for another person. So every time you have a class for that text, you displayed it for a number of people. Now you kind of rate them basically like whether they're similar, right? Or at least in within, within the scale that you have. And then there are other things like that you could even estimate uh, simple matrices, like in terms of like the time it takes for the user to read, you know? And of course, it, is it in the, same, in the same range? Or for example, if it's empty or if the person just recorded an empty thing and the same, you know, that's a very small, um, <clears throat> that's a very small recording. So you probably should, you know, there's an outlier. So you can do some kind of distribution and then where in the distribution that is. That is one, but as you said, also you could really send it back, and someone else can hear and and reply back to say like whether this is actually uh, a correct translation. So that's kind of labeling. That one is really accurate labeling because a person you are actually making it another person to hear and verify just up or down, right? But you are wasting also your the people right so maybe what you do is that always the person of course you want them to record because that's the significant but then in the bottom you will have like also like does this audio match that this thing you can actually um, prompt them with some kind of question so you can do both but for the model part 
I don't think you need that much as long as you have the model and you know you have basically the environment, or you can even assume it that it, you can always just uh, run it. In an actual deployment, what would happen? You would have an API that you would send to, and then that API processes. I mean, even now you could use Google if you want. Google has. I mean, I'm not sure the API for Amharic it works, but you can always send audio for Google and it gives you back the text. So you could use some, you know, some other services. Just like that, you could also build, of course, your own model. Um, but at the moment, you can just assume that you have an environment that you would set up, you know, you basically, every time you process uh, or, you know, every time that you launch it without ML flow, all the detail. But in the, an actual deployment, sure, you would need model management because the more data you have, you are probably training the model as you go on. And, and then the model should be getting better and better as you are increasing the number of data. Um, so I think, yeah, both methods are okay. There are other methods as well uh, that, that allows you to, to get a certain way of whether it is a valid one. I mean, mostly what you want is to label it, whether it's a high accurate, probably high, you know, correct, or probably has issue. So you want to classify them at least into these two groups, a minimum. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, Yababa, for that. And I hope that is very clear. And maybe just five before you go, I, with regards to the submissions, are you guys confident uh, the technical and the not technical will be submitted on time? Uh, I'm not sure about the non technical non technical because we haven't discussed mm -hmm. about the other team. But uh, the technical part, yeah, I think we will be able to submit it on time. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks, Group Four, for the updates. And now we dive straight into Group Five. Uh, group Five. Anybody who didn't say anything yesterday to help us or to update us on what's going on within their group. I think we didn't hear much from uh, Yudidia, Nahom. So if um, any of those are on the call, please unmute and update us on what's going on. Yudidia? Uh, okay, hello. So to give an update, we've been working uh, on the task separately and uh, I think we, we are already done with the part on Tiki Kaskal. And what we've been missing out is we we were we still didn't know how to access the history bucket, but because it's cleared now, I think we can work on that and continue the, the integration. Uh, maybe just one question for Abebal. It's a request actually. Can we get the a public IP for our machine so that we can uh, deploy our Kafka cluster and be able to access it from the public internet? So the public, basically your public access is your URL that you use to SSH, right? So all I have to do is open the port for okay, that, yes. the security. Okay. So it's basically g1.tenacademy.org. If you are in, you are in g5, g5.tenacademy.org is your public you know, your, your URL. So if you want to deploy exactly, I will, um, so I will basically allow, uh, I think, you know, it's a good one. So do you want to generate SSL as well? And yes, attach it? Is that would be great, yes. Okay, so that means I can, I will open both 80 and 443 so that you can, 18. you guys can just do that, yeah. Okay, great. Thank All you. right, is that okay um, on your end, you did it? Yes, yes. All yes. right. Maybe let's hear from another person from group five to tell us uh, how the meetings were yesterday. Um, probably Doug Maui. We didn't hear from you yesterday. How were the meetings? Are you guys confident about um, meeting the deadlines? Yeah. Hello, Miri. Hi. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. And uh, uh, we all set up a couple of meetings per day and uh, we all are attending uh, accordingly. But uh, uh, so at least a, a couple of members or 
at least one bumper will always uh, miss out due to the timing convenience of uh, the, uh, the, the timing convenience that we set them, but uh, we are doing good actually, and uh, I think we'll be able to submit on time tomorrow. Yeah. Both technical and non-technical? I <laughs> I don't know about the non-technical one, but uh, mm. I'm still working on the technical side. So uh, that's we are on, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And when are your meetings exactly? Because I keep hearing about um, having challenges with consolidated time. Where, 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 what time are your two meetings every day? Yeah, yes. one is uh, one hour before the stand up. Okay. Or, and the evening one is at uh, at 12 p.m. UTC, I think, and uh, I think everyone is trying to keep up with it. But yeah, I've always, uh, not always, but I've I've also uh, missed some meetings uh, actually at that time. And uh, the group members are always trying to update me on the things that I missed and that I missed and uh, try to work on it. So that's it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so whenever anybody missed, you you guys are using Slack to kind of keep updates of everything. Yeah, we are using Slack and uh, also personally talk to each other uh, and try to team uh, each other on the tasks that we are uh, appointed to and uh, that's it, yeah. All right, it's good to hear that you guys are managing well and all the blockers are now sorted out. Unless uh, there's anybody else who have any other question for Yebabal, especially with, with yes. I see Tadasa, you have your hand up. Go on, Tadasa, you can unmute and- okay. good, morning. good morning. Good morning, morning everyone. How are you? <laughs> Uh, really, I have, a, I have a question on uh, how to use the credentials of uh, AWS. Uh, so uh, we are trying to configure, <clears throat> I mean, to create the S3 bucket, uh, which is uh, by using the documentation of Amazon S3 buckets, but. Uh, as a problem what I, what we face from our group is uh, in in setting up the credentials for amazon e3 ec ec2 instance metadata so uh, is 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 there so a possibility is, to okay so this so the discussion is that you don't have credential to create buckets but we have created for you like the bucket that you are using all already, which is the, you know, what I wrote also as a reply to Abel, it is the slash amenity, the mounted version, slash amenity 10 AC batch five, uh, week nine, which you can access from your um, computer. Oh. So that one is an S3 folder or, you know, and the bucket is of called, of course, 10 AC batch five. And then the key basically is the prefix. And then in that week nine, I already see a number of uh, everyone, every team creates their folder. So that I have seen already a number of um, them already. So Bakart, Chang, Chuket, and Raiten, they actually have already created their folder there and everything you will put it there, right? So that's the kind of, and of course that folder, if you want to access it, let's say from Boto3, the way that you would access it like is basically s3 slash you know what i wrote again basically you replace mnt with s3 um url you know look at the okay. the message so, so that's so, what you need yeah yeah so in place of uh, s3 uh, is it possible to pass uh, what you have put there uh, on the, the amenity as argument yeah yeah, so if you are working on non bottle thing, that means just like as a, you want to treat the, the S3 as normal Linux file system, mm -hmm. that is exactly the one slash amenity. That's basically because we mounted it. You know, when we instant, when we create the instance, we mounted, you can mount uh, S3 as, as basically file system, you know, as just a disk, right? So we mounted it as a disk. So that's why you can access it 
But if you are working on Boto, for example, of course, you know, you can use S3 folder. Both of them will work in, no, in no. both times. If you put a file there, you will see it. If you just ls slash mnt slash 10ac batch 5 slash week 9 and then your, your thing, you will be able to find it. So that is possible in, in both ways. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I hope this is clear also for everyone that it's the, the order says you, you should put it in a bucket, but we already created a bucket because we didn't want permission issues as well as also, you know, um, that to, you have it, the bucket there already in, in the machine. All right. I hope it's very clear for everybody, unless there's anyone else who has any burning question for you, Abel, we'll, we'll dive straight into the second, the most awaiting second segment of our session, which is the hot set. So I'm assuming there's no more question because I can see uh, no hand up at the moment. So Yababo, thank you so much for accepting to be on the hot seat. So we would, like, we would request you to have your camera on and get set. Ah, good to see you today. Good I hope to you're ready you. for this. <laughs> I, I hope so, like, depending on the question. <laughs> yeah, people have been threatening that the seat might get too hot. So too hot, I, yeah, no, it's like, I can handle it. I can handle it. Yeah. All right, guys. Now I need to see a few hands up before we get, we get started right into it. At least like 10 hands up. You, you guys know it's only six minutes and and that's all uh, the time that Yababo has to shine. Six minutes of fame for Yababo. Oh, burn. So, can I Do you mean burn? Hands up? <laughs> all right, guys, I'm still waiting to see some hand up. We don't have much time. Okay, they're here, they're coming in. Three already, all right. Guys, keep them coming. Oh my goodness. Yababo, are you seeing what I'm seeing? No, yeah. I don't. And I'm colorblind. <laughs> All right, guys, before we get started, we need a dramatic start. And we are going to have a, an introductory uh, sound effect to this opening of the session. So hold up. All right, guys, guess that go. Time goes now. Three fingers, you project more. Sorry, I didn't say, hear. Say, say it loudly. Three fingers, you pro protect more. Um, Three things you protect the most. I would say care and community and family. Awesome, awesome. Okay, yeah, Babo. What two things that make you smile the most? You must make me understand to smile. I think that's the only thing that I'm not, I, I don't get most jokes. So I have to, I basically have to, <laughs> if, if a person makes me understand it, then I, I, I think usually when I understand, I smile. And usually oh, okay. if it's a joke and I understand, I, I laugh. So, all right, Henok, go. Uh, your biggest success so far? Ten Academy. Awesome. And what is uh, one of your weaknesses? Ah, so um, probably I'm not at all disciplined. So thanks to Arun that <laughs> things are working. All right, Jeremy, go. Uh, during your vacation to Thailand, what surprised you most? Surprised me. Um, that I really didn't miss work. Oh, wow. I, okay. I was very surprised. <laughs> okay, Daisy, go. Um, what surprised you the most in terms of Ten Academy? Um, has it surpassed your expectations? Yes, it does. I think it's, it does because it, I expected it to be much harder than what it was. And I knew that it wasn't a, uh, an issue of talent, but I thought it was an issue of like people trusting in us and it was really amazing to, to get that trust quicker than we expected. 
that's a good one daisy so yeah babel what what is the ideal first perf uh, uh, perfect date for the first one the first date what is your you idea? You want to hear that? Time? Are you sure? <laughs> you can use pass if you don't. It's, no, no, no. I mean, I, I'm fine. But as like, I think I don't know what even a date was. So I always just start with really going to, you know, the point. So it's, I don't usually play like that much. So then I think it's like, I can start from <laughs> the end. But that's all over my life. I always start from the end. So. Okay. Okay. Salam, go. Okay, what's your definition of success? If you do something that outlasts you and if someone else can use it in a way that you've never thought before. Awesome. Dear Mark? Is batch five the best batch so far? It's always um, incredibly like every batch is becoming that. So yes, it does. Uh, but it's in its own way. I think every batch is, is uncomparable per se because also the, the projects and stuff and the, the things are different. But I would say it's really the most disciplined, the most, uh, yeah, the most less work, let's say, from our side and more work for your side, probably. Okay, we are halfway through this. Ken, go. What is the craziest excuses you have ever used to break up with a person? <laughs> To what? The last one? The craziest thing given to a person. I, give, I have given to a person. Yeah. Uh, I really remember that I needed a jacket. Uh, <laughs> again, it was related to the question that Mary asked. And then I needed to, you know, I needed to go home. And so I said, like, I need a jacket. And I think the person understood that was really, really lame because it was <laughs> hot. So, but in any way, it happened. Okay, Baruch, go. Uh, the three things you will never forget from your childhood. From Thailand? Your childhood. From your childhood. Ah, from my childhood. Wow. It's, I think it's really a lot more is the fighting. Like I was <laughs> fighting every day and um, blood every day. And then it's the time that when I was playing uh, fuseball, that the, the day before I asked myself whether I could bait on my wife if I had a wife. And then on the fuse ball, I said, yes, I could. And then I really, really shot, you know, basically that's where I stopped gambling. And uh, another one is like when I get caught and, and at school play, you know, again, just gambling. And then basically I, I you know, it's like the way the, the feeling was just that usually we, ma we managed to hide it. And that time we couldn't, and we were, you know, red-handed. So it's kind of that was an experience. No, but actually there is one, the fourth one, that I was also beaten to, really, in a school. I think schools, you know, in, in my time was just so much beating. So <laughs> I think I basically, yeah, yeah, but the, the beatings in one of the in class in grade three was like I, I don't forget. But they're all happy memories actually because I was I don't really take them as negative. All right, you did your go. Uh, what's the weirdest thing people think about you? It depends where you met me, but I think uh, I have enough highs and lows. Uh, so, like for example, in big conferences, the where I was basically invited to give a talk, someone told that I was, uh, you know, kind of serving for coffee. And then they asked me if I, because I, I, most of the time in cosmology, I was the only black. So they would just always ask me like, you know, can I have coffee? And then they, they would see me giving a speech and they would be like, you are amazing. You are like the genius. And they're like, sure, because you taught law. So usually the expectation flips when they think you so low. And then when you do something, they're like, you are amazing. So interesting. Those are... All right, Malaku, go. Okay, it's our own requested question. So, if uh, if alien knocks on your door, <laughs> would you shoot it? Yeah, I mean, I you know, I, you know, you should, you should. I believe that there is definitely more than aliens out there, and you know, it's a big space for for us. So, if they knock and and come, and I'll be like, yeah, come in, and we just talk about like what have you seen. You know? All so right, I'm, Titan. I'm waiting. Okay, 
Uh, okay, Bobel, I understand that uh, you are a dance guru, right? I dance, yeah. Okay, what's your favorite genre and what's the inspiration like? Did you like somebody made you love it or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my, my, my mom always just th was thinking that I was a bad dancer and I was always trying to convince her that I am a good one. But that was the start. But then I think once I am outside in Europe, I realized it's boring if you don't dance. So uh, that's really the main reason that I, I start dancing everything that was available. And All right, it's time up, but I see uh, there are so many hands up. I think we might need a whole stand-up session for this. So probably just a waiver, we'll get to the last two, and then we close it. Okay, Dagmawi, then Maron. So uh, what inspires you the most? Abu Bakila. That is basically a runner who ran barefoot and basically got a um, medal, you know, gold medal in Olympic. And I think a lot of things I modeled it after that, we, we want to do it in science. So all of my inspiration comes like the basic principles I draw from that, like, so I would say right. like, you know. What's one thing different and one thing funny about you? Different is that I can, it, I really adapt for anything. As far as I know now, there is nothing that I haven't adapted wherever I am, whether it's, as I said, crazy or not crazy or cool. <laughs> And funny, it's probably I never defined myself as funny, but I probably if you see me that I might just be funny. Just, uh, I think my, 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 I don't know. I really don't know what that funny part is <laughs> like. Um, okay, but that yeah, one, what, what is your biggest yeah. regret in life? It's, you know, like I, I somehow grew up not regretting. Like, I, I mean, it's not that I don't have many things that I have done wrong, but I think I am much more, I only remember the moment before and the moment after. That's why I'm not really a good, you know, disciplined. So, but I, and so that means usually I forget and everything that even I, the, the things that I did wrong, they become just in my mind, happy memories. And then, yeah, so it's kind of, it's, it's harder to, to say I regret, but of course there are so many, so many mistakes that I've made. So it's not learning. That I didn't make a mistake, yeah. You choose to view them as a learning process rather yeah, than... But once it passed, it's part of me. So it's just like a baby. Like, you know, okay. you know, however, the baby's uh, not good in the way that you want them, but they're your baby. So it's like, so every part of the past, I, I really consider them as babies of me. Like, just, you know, just that I, I take care of them. All right, guys. Unfortunately, even all the nicest things have to come to a close. I'm sorry, I can see, I can still see a lot more hands up. And unfortunately, we even had to extend to seven minutes. That's, uh, that's exceptional. Thank you very much, Eva Bell. And Thank you. Um, that's good. yeah, this, the, at least it got, it helped. Everyone us. was easy on me, I assume. So it was good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, everybody was looking forward to like, asking you questions and, and get away with them. So this was the only moment they could do that. So guys, thank you very much. And probably give a big hand clap to Yababel for doing it very well. Can we get maybe two feedbacks? Uh, how do you feel now uh, about what you've learned about Yababel? Do you feel you know him better now? Two feedbacks. Maybe I'll just pick from the hands that are up. Abel? Abel and Daisy. Okay. Hello, Yababa. Hey. I think it's great uh, hearing you answering all those questions. And uh, uh, I'm happy to learn many things from you. Thank you. Okay, Daisy, uh, is there anything that surprised you about you, what you learned today? Da Daisy, um, are you there? Uh, surprised, yes. Very great. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, seems to be a lag. Um, surprise, yes, to a very great extent. Um, I think what stood out for me was yeah, about the definition of success and how for him it's just about creating something that outlasts him. And I guess an academy is just one of those things. Um, I'd be curious to know what more he's doing. Um, 
Uh, so I think it helps to put a face to Yabebao beyond his intrigue for the cosmos and the STEM Academy and the fact that he thinks of himself of, like being funny. So like when you meet him, the first thing you think is that he's a funny person. I thought that he's really funny. Um, and it really has made Yabebao very relatable. So yeah, this was fun. And I'm guessing people had a lot more questions to ask than what you just had. Yes, everybody had a lot more questions, especially when time went on, you, you know, knowing Yababel as the, you know, the serious technical guy and all of the sudden we are seeing this side of him. I think everybody was excited. So his quote today, he managed to respond to 25 questions, 25, but of course in seven and a half minutes. So well done, Yababel. And thank you very much for uh, uh, to everybody. I don't know if we have any announcements but um we've already had a two minute spillover we'll call it a day and thank you guys um have a lovely day thank you everybody bye guys thank you thank you guys thanks bye